Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Iris and this is my 15 month lock update. So for the past couple months, everything has been pretty good. Really haven't had any major issues or anything like that. I wanted to start retwisting every two months, you know, stretching out my retwist, but I haven't done that. I'm still retwisting every month. And the reason for that I feel is because I've dealt with matting and webbing so bad along my journey that I'm kind of scared to stretch it out that long, to be honest with you. So I haven't made the leap into doing that. And to be honest, my locks actually at this stage in my journey have been doing so good as far as the webbing and the matting. I'm noticing the more mature my locks get, the less webbing and matting I'm experiencing. I still have a little bit here and there, but not nearly as much as I used to. I, I used to have to pop my locks and pry them apart. And I'm finding that the more they're growing and maturing, the less and less I have to do that. So I'm thinking eventually I may just try to stretch out my retwists eventually, maybe in the future, I'm not sure, but for now I'm still comfortable retwisting every month. I am still using the same current products on my hair. I haven't changed or added anything. So I believe I'm going to do a current product video to show you guys the current products I'm using. If you're interested, just let me know in the comments below because I haven't done, I've showed you products here and there in some, you know, maintenance videos, but I don't think I've ever showed just a whole group of products I use, you know, on the daily or just to maintain my locks in general. So I am willing to do that if you all are interested. As far as styling goes, I only like to style my hair once a month. I really don't like to manipulate it that much. I find that when I leave it alone, it does its best. It progresses much better. That's probably why you haven't seen that many hairstyle videos from me because I really only style my hair once a month. And that is the minimum, that is the least, that is the most. So, and that is the reason because I'm trying to keep the integrity of my locks. They're already color treated. So, you know, that's already damaging to them as it is. And I'm trying to not have my hands in my hair so much so it can progress and grow properly. So I believe that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a 360. So as you can see, I still have my lock sprinkles and I just been letting them fall out naturally. I haven't taken any of them out. So I don't have as many as I used to when I first installed them in July, but I still have a couple left. I like them so much that I've been willing to just keep them <laughs> and let them fall out naturally. I'm not really sure when I'm gonna take them out to be honest with you, probably when I get sick of them but I've been enjoying them so much that I've just been letting them fall out naturally. My locks are definitely getting longer and the indication to me is my longest lock, which is this one. I don't know why this lock grows so quickly and as long as it does, I feel like it's my wisdom lock. That's why I put the car shell on the end of this one. And it's definitely getting longer because now it's starting to sit like below the lower part of my neck and on my shoulder 
so that definitely lets me know my hair is getting longer also my bang is getting long too it's starting to sometimes hang in my eye area and kind of disrupt me being able to see a little bit when I do have them all in the front sometimes and it just overall is starting to lay better I'm noticing the more mature it's getting and the longer it's getting also I decided to start a new lock and that's this one right here I feel like I had some breakage here with my edges previously before I started locking my hair I want to say it like from my postpartum like when I had my last child I always felt like this area never grew back properly after that so the hair started to get longer here so I just grouped them together and formed another lock and it's fairly new it's only been started since last month so this is month one for this lock here so as you can see it's still a twist but it's eventually going to mature and get to the place it needs to get as it goes through its journey and I'll also go ahead and show you this lock which is the lock that I talked about in my one year update that I felt like it wasn't progressing because I started it three months into my lock journey after I had put in my starter locks I started it three months later and I started it because of the same process the same issue I had some group of hairs that were growing here but I believe these hairs came from other locks because my hair does grow away from my locks so I decided to go ahead and group these hairs together to start a new lock which is this one and she is progressing much better than she was last time you can see she's budding right here she is definitely getting firmer and she doesn't feel as much as a twist as she used to so I'm very happy that she's progressing much better than it was before. So those two are my newest locks, I want to say. Well, this one is the newest one and this one was progressing three months later than the rest of them. But they are doing really good. So I'm happy to see that happening. Definitely feel like these locks back here are also getting longer just overall. All of my locks are, I feel, are progressing really well and I'm really happy. Can't wait till next year or about the halfway mark in my almost two years. So I'm definitely wanting to definitely probably come back in 18 months and give you another update, which is the halfway mark to my two years to see how everything is progressing. So I guess that is pretty much it. So that is pretty much it for my 15 month lock update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye guys.